We get our coldest temperatures when you got a little snow on the ground, a clear sky and light winds. And look what happened down at Salisbury this morning. Zero this morning for the morning low with the snow down there in a clear, calm uh, uh, condition for the early morning hours. They tanked on the thermometer, strong radiational cooling down there. Two degrees at Georgetown in Delaware, single digits all across southern Maryland, also in the colder areas north and west of Baltimore. One degree in Oakland, four below zero Elkins. It was zero to uh, down to uh, Richmond and just south of Richmond at Petersburg, Virginia. They were about eight degrees below zero for a few uh, minutes or hours early this morning uh, with the snowpack. Again, the clear skies really produce some cold temperatures at BWI Marshall. It's the coldest we've been so far this winter at 10 degrees. Not a record, though. That record is two which goes back to 1970, but much colder than normal. And it was the third straight day now that we've not made it to freezing in Baltimore, staying below freezing all day and still in the low 20s up to the Pennsylvania line and back to Western Maryland. It'll be another cold night tonight, but with a little bit of cloud cover, uh, it shouldn't be quite as cold as last night. And these clouds are starting to develop as warmer air moves our way. Arctic high pressure is now off the mid Atlantic coast and pushing away. And the return flow is beginning to develop a warm front out here. Notice it's only 22 degrees up around Rapid City, but 60 in Denver. 20s up around Minneapolis, but 40s, almost 50 in Kansas City. So a pretty decent warm front, and we'll start to see that approach our area tomorrow. Now, what we have to look out for when these warm fronts move in is uh, precipitation moving into the colder air. But once the warm front gets past us, then a strong shift in the upper level winds. The Arctic air will be locked in here, upper Midwest, Canada. But look at those strong west to southwesterly winds going all the way up into southern New England on Thursday. I think we got a decent chance to get to 60 degrees here Thursday, at least briefly, before it cools off going into the weekend. With the warm front, there'll be some snow showers in the mountains, maybe even some sleet or rain up toward Pittsburgh. It looks like right now all of that wintry mix will stay well to the north and west of Baltimore through the day tomorrow. Tomorrow night, then some scattered rain showers move in as temperatures will be noticeably warmer, and that leads to the uh, midweek, end of week warm up with some sun and clouds mixed on Wednesday. So tonight cold 13 to 20. That's colder than normal clouds increasing, but not quite as cold as last night. Tomorrow, a cloudy day, a little light wintry mix well to our north and west, especially up in Pennsylvania, up toward Gettysburg and those areas, Chambersburg, perhaps west toward Hagerstown, and then scattered rain showers in the evening here. Highs tomorrow should get above freezing for the first time in four days. 39 with showers in the mountains tomorrow, maybe a little wet snow early in the morning, then rain showers and warmer on Wednesday. On the eastern shore tomorrow, a cloudy day, 38, should hit 50 Wednesday and keep climbing into Thursday. Eastern shore toward Ocean City, a 44 degree day tomorrow, a couple rain showers and about 51 on Wednesday. So the seven day forecast, we turn things around, get above freezing tomorrow, hit 50 with a shower in the evening on Wednesday. Warmest day looks like Thursday, partly cloudy up around 60 degrees, upper 50s Friday with some showers and then watch out Saturday with the colder air trying to come in. We could have an icy mix here with some sleet or freezing rain possible during the day Saturday.